Now let us look at the following theorems. The first one is a redundant literal rule. It says if we have a plus a complement b, it can be written as a plus b, right? And if we have a dot a complement plus b, it can be written as a b. So there are two ways of proving this kind of theorems. Either we can use the Venn diagram to prove this theorem, or we can use the switching algebra expressions to to prove this theorem, or we can make a truth table for this. So what I will do is I will try to prove these theorems with the help of the truth table. Okay. So the first theorem is the redundant literal rule. It says if we have a plus a complement b, it can be written as a plus b. Let us try to make a truth table for this. We have a, we have b. Let us try to find a complement. Then we'll try to find what is a complement b. Then we will try to find what is a plus a complement b. Okay. So what are the combinations? They can be zero zero, zero one, one zero, and one one. So what is a complement? A complement can be written as one one zero zero. What is a complement b? That means we have to make and of these two, a complement and b. So their and will be zero, one, zero, and zero. And then what is a plus a complement b? That means you will going to apply or between these two. So the or will be zero, one, one, one. This is zero, one, one, one. Now if we make a plus b, so assume this is a, this is b. And this is a plus b, right? So their combinations can be zero zero, zero one, one zero, and one one. Then a or b is zero one one one, right? So as you can see, this and this both are same. So we can say left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence proof, right? Right. So we can also visualize this with the help of a Venn diagram. So how can you visualize it with the help of a Venn diagram? Assume this is the universe. This is denoting A. This is denoting B. Okay. Then what is what is what is A? So A is this much. This complete is A. This complete is a, right? And then what is a complement b? A complement means the part of b which is not in a. So this is the part of b which is not in a, right? Right? So and then what is a plus b? A plus b is basically adding this part, this part with this part, right? So as you can see, if it is a plus a complement b. Then obviously it is equal to a plus b with the help of this diagram, right? So it is a very simple uh, thing to prove, right? So next is a dot a complement plus b is equal to a b. As you can see, this is just a dual form of this, but still we can try to prove it. So uh, you can see here, if we take a, assume this is a, this is b, then their combinations can be zero zero. Zero one one zero and one one, and let us try to find what is a complement. So a complement can be one one zero zero. Sorry, it is one one zero zero. I should not have written it here. And then what is a complement plus b? A complement plus b is one one zero one. And then what is a dot A complement plus B, right? So you have to make and of between these two, and between these two, okay? So and will be this is zero, 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 one, right? And let us try to find A B. What is A B? If this is A, this is B, and this is A dot B. Then A B is zero 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 one one zero one one, and this is an AND operation. Therefore, we can say it is zero 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 one. So as you can see, this value, this and this both are actually equal. Correct. So you can see we have just proved the redundant literal 
rule. Now let us try to prove the absorption law after this. Now let us try to prove the absorption law. So what is the absorption law? It says if we have A plus A dot B then it can be written as A, right? So there are two ways. Either you can prove it using Venn diagram. So let us try to draw a Venn diagram. This is the universe. Assume this is A. This is B, right? So what is A dot B? This region, this region is denoting A dot B. So we can say we are selecting this region and we are selecting the complete A. Right? As you can see, this is just covering uh, the complete A. So we can say A plus A dot B is equal to A. It is very simple to visualize this way. But, but let us try to prove it using the truth, truth table. So we have A and B and this is A dot B. We can say what is A B? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. A dot B will be 0, 0, 0, 1. And then what is A plus A dot B? That means we are doing OR between this and this. So OR will be 0, 1, 1, 1. Right? Sorry, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So which is actually equivalent to A itself. Right? So we can say the absorption law hold, holds in this case. So next is A. The next part of absorption law is A dot A plus B which is equal to A itself. This is just a dual form of this as you can see. So we can say in this case if this is A and this is B, right? So the combinations can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Then what is A plus B? A plus B can be written as 0, 1, 1, 1. And then what is A dot A plus B? It can be written as, so we can say it is 0, 0, 1, 1. So which is equal to A itself, right? Therefore, you can say the absorption flow holds in this case also, correct? Now let us try to prove the consensus theorem after this. Next is the consensus theorem. So what is the consensus theorem? It says if we have A, uh, it says if we have AB plus A complement C plus BC, it can be written as AB plus A complement C, right? So we can prove it using the truth table, but uh, that will be a very long method. But instead of that, we can just use identities of uh, switching its algebra for this. So this is the left hand side, LHS, and this is the right hand side, RHS. Now let us take the LHS, this is the left hand side. So it is AB plus A complement C plus BC, right? So how can you prove it? We have to make this left hand side equal to right hand side. So you can say it is AB plus A complement C plus BC dot A plus A complement, right? So which is equal to 1, right? So you can say it is very simple to understand. Why I'm doing this? Because if you see BC is equal to BC dot 1, right? So B dot C is equal to BC dot 1. And instead of this one, I can also write BC is equal to BC dot a plus a complement it is very easy to understand in this case right so you can write it as a b plus a complement c plus a b c plus a complement b c right now between these two this one and this one you can take a b as common between this one and this one you can take a complement c as common so it will be a b which is 1 plus c plus a complement c which is 1 plus b so it is equal to 1 itself it is equal to 1 right so we already know this if you do a plus 1 or any any uh, one expression plus 1 then it is equal to 1 itself because or is going to make it as 1 so it can be done as a b plus a complement c which is equal to the right hand side hence the consensus theorem is proved right so this is, you can say this is just a dual form of the consensus theorem. So let us try to prove it. So it says it is A plus B dot A complement plus C dot B plus C is equal to A plus B dot A complement plus C. 
right so this is the left hand side this is the left hand side left hand side and this is the right hand side so let us try to make left hand side side is equal to the right hand side so lhs is a plus b dot a complement plus c dot b plus c try to expand it so it will be a dot a complement plus ac plus b dot a complement plus bc dot b plus c right so it can return as 0 so it is 0 plus ac plus b dot a complement plus bc dot b plus c right so you can eliminate it so it can return as x try to expand it again so it is a b c plus b dot b dot a complement plus b dot b dot c plus a dot c dot c plus a complement b dot c plus b dot c dot c so you can say it is equal to b this one here again it is repeating itself here again it is repeating itself here again it is repeating itself so it can return as a b c plus a complement b plus b c plus a c plus a complement b c plus b c it is very simple to understand so in from this you can take something as common uh, take this one and this one you can take b c as common so it is a plus one right take this one and this one you can take a, a complement b as common so take a complement b as common so it is one plus c right plus we have a c right plus one more thing if if it is repeating itself it is b c plus b c then you don't have to write it twice you can just write it once right so uh, there's no benefit of writing it twice so we can take it as uh, you can just add it we'll check it later on so bc so this is one this is one so it is bc plus bc plus a complement b plus ac and this is equal to bc itself so it is bc plus a complement b plus ac it is very simple to understand in this case right now let us take the right hand side so right hand side is what is the right hand side it is rhs is a plus b dot a complement plus c it can be written as a dot a complement plus plus a dot c plus b dot a complement plus b c which is equal to this is 0 so it is a c plus a complement b plus b c right so here also we will get we are getting a c a complement b plus b c here also a c a complement b plus b c right so the right hand side is equal, equal, equal to the right hand side so this consists of theorem is also true now let us try to prove the transposition theorem so let us prove the transposition theorem it says we have a b plus a complement c it can be written as a plus c dot a complement plus b right so let us try to prove it let us take the left uh, we have the left hand side and the right hand side let us try to take the right hand side first we have right hand side it says a plus c dot a complement plus b so it can be written as a dot a complement plus a b plus a complement dot c plus b c which is equal to this is equal to 0 so it is a b plus a complement c plus b c right so this is the right hand side fine now let us take with this bc i can write a b plus a complement c plus b c a plus a complement so it can be written as a b plus a complement c plus a b c plus a complement b c right so in this case we need a b and a complement c so you can take a b as common between these two and a complement c is common between these two so it will be a b into 1 plus c plus a complement c into 1 plus dot 1 plus b so it can be written as a b plus a complement c as you can see this can be written as 1 and this can be written as 1 so it is very easy to understand fine so now let us try to prove more, more theorems in this case